Hey guys, one of the things that I had to learn when I started using ClickFunnels was how to lay out my content properly, especially for mobile experience. When you have a two column section, an image on the left, and then you have uh, maybe a supporting text on the right, and then you do the reverse of that, and then you just alternate going down the page. What you'll notice going down on mobile experience is that the thing on the left hand side always comes first, and then the thing on the right will always stack on the bottom. Uh, so when you go down, creating a zigzag pattern, it doesn't actually go in the way that you want it to. Now I was struggling with that when I started using ClickFunnels because I personally like having text on the left and then supporting image or video on the right hand side, especially for a hero section at the very top when someone lands on your page, that's the thing that I want to show them on the desktop. But sometimes, on the mobile experience, I just wanna show that video on the top and then text on the bottom. But I don't wanna create two duplicate sections where I'm hiding one for mobile experience um, and showing one for desktop and then doing vice versa. The coding that I'll be showing you in this video isn't very difficult at all. You can just reuse this code every time you want to reverse the direction of the stack so that you're getting the experience that you want to give your customers on, on any page that you create. Before we go any further, I just wanted to show in this simple diagram basically what we'll be covering inside of this video. Um, it seems very simple and it actually is really simple. So you'll get this really fast. So the desktop experience when you're creating a page is you have a section. So you add the section and then you add a, let's say a two column row for this diagram. So you have uh, your left and then your right, which is one and two. Um, imagine there's like a blue box because I think in the editor the, the row uh, surrounding box is blue. And when you go into a mobile experience, normally the one stays on top, the first column on the left, and then second comes on the bottom. So your left stays on top and then your right comes on the bottom. What we'll be doing in this tutorial will be reversing how that column stacks. This is a sample page that I created. I've also applied the code in here specifically for this top section that you're gonna have um, a left-hand side, this would be the one, and then the right-hand side video, which would be the two. Um, in the mobile experience, I don't want the video to come onto the bottom. I want it to come onto the top. Also on the desktop experience, I don't want to have the video on the left hand side and have the text on the right. So I'm going to start minimizing this page. And as I do so, you'll notice that the right hand side is going to stack on top like so. And then the left hand side is going to go on the bottom. So we've gone to this mobile experience where we push the one down and then have the two on the top. As always, I'm gonna be building something with you so that you can kind of follow me along. I won't create anything too complex. I'm not gonna style it too complex either. And then I'm gonna be also adding the coding part as I talk through it. So I'm gonna add a section and then I'm gonna just do a full width. I'm just gonna create my own because I think this is a little bit faster actually. Um, I'm gonna add a two column row and you can do this with three columns and four columns and five columns as well, but I'm just gonna do a two for now. I'm gonna add a new element and then do a headline to the left and then I'm gonna add a image to the right. I'm also just gonna add a body. Um, and then I'm going to just align these to the left. My OCD is kicking in. Here's top margin 100 so I can center it a little bit better. I'm gonna just save this for now. Um, so when I click on preview, right now the experience is that the left hand side will stay and the right hand side will come down below it. And that might be the experience that you want. Um, that's great. That's the end of the video for you. So how this is going to work with the CSS is because I don't want this to apply to a full desktop view and I only, only want this to be applied when the viewport is on a mobile device. I have to actually call out separating the desktop experience and the mobile experience. How you would do that is this code, at media only screen and minimum width zero pixel and max width 770 pixel. So you can kind of alter this, I believe, but basically what this is calling for is we're targeting a code specifically to kick in when the viewport of customer's device is between zero pixels and 770 pixels. Most 15 inch laptops around 1440 pixels wide. When you get to a tablet, it could be around 1028 pixels. When you get to a phone, that can be around 300 to 400 pixels. So I'm kind of targeting around one of the smaller iPads used 
vertically. So I'll put this code inside of the description so you can go and just copy and paste this. From here, I'm going to open curly brackets and then what I'm gonna to have to go do is find the section where the two columns live in. So I'm gonna exit out of the custom CSS and that's just gonna keep the code in the CSS, so don't worry. And I'm gonna find the row setting, so the blue surrounding setting, not the green, but the, the blue setting. And when you go into that, you're gonna see at the very bottom of the page, get CSS info. When you click on that, you're gonna get a little modal pop-up that says um, CSS info, title, um, and then the CSS ID selector. You just wanna go and copy the CSS ID selector. So I would click Command C or Control C if you're on a PC. Exit out of that and then go back into your settings and then into your custom CSS. And then you can just Command V or Control V to paste this into the document here. And then now I'm using another open curly bracket. So you should have a curly bracket like this and this. And then this is where the coding or the styling for this starts. So the first thing I'm gonna call out is I'm gonna type display and then colon and then I'm gonna call out flex, so F-L-E-X and then you're gonna put a semicolon to close that. You're gonna hit enter and go to the new line and then type in flex dash direction colon column reverse semicolon and then you're going to hit enter again and then you're going to close your curly brackets so now you can exit out of this make sure you have the close bracket you go save at the top and then go preview so now I'm expecting the right hand side to stack on top and the left hand side to go on the bottom instead of having the left on top and right on bottom. So if I scale this down, yeah, the right hand side stacks on top and then the left hand side stacks on the bottom. If I go back to the editor and click on mobile, it might not reflect it inside of the editor. And so make sure just to go to preview and check if it's working there or not, because what matters for your customers is that they're seeing it on the page uh, because they're not gonna have an editor experience. So it's actually easy as that. If I wanted to do something with the three column, and I can do this really quickly, um, bring all this in here and then clone that, put in the last, go into settings, get CSS info. I'm gonna copy the ID selector and I'm just gonna change this out with that ID selector. and go save, hit preview. So now I should have the thing on the very right to come onto the top and then for this section to come onto the bottom. Here we go. I hope this was really helpful for you creating pages in the future. Um, definitely saves me time to not have to have duplicates of each section on pages. I'm not sure if you guys caught this when I was showing off this page right here, but one of the things I like to do when I'm creating pages is add testimonials and also add logos of companies that I've worked with. Even when I'm working on footers, I like to have specific logos on the bottom or have multiple icons at the very bottom that would go to different parts of my social media. The way I build this is I have a four column row, like I would, and I've just put a PNG of the logos in here. And normally the experience is that they would just all stack, but stacking all this on the mobile means that it takes up half a page when someone gets that section. And I don't want that. Something that you could do is you can actually keep it in line. And I'm gonna go over that in the next video I create. Thanks guys.